Hello everyone and welcome back to Casey's Beautiful Lifestyle. I'm Kalonda Casey and I so appreciate you being here with me today. I would love it if you would like, comment, subscribe, and share this with your friends because we're growing this channel. I love helping women find their skincare routines and their beauty hacks and just showing you what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. I have on this beautiful dress. I will link it below. Um, this, you can wear it on the shoulder or off the shoulder. I'm gonna wear it off the shoulder so you can see that as well. And yes, so today we are going to deep dive into getting our summer glow on without going outside and getting in the sun. Just stay with me and I'm gonna show you what I do to get that beautiful glow. Today I'm using the Skin Perfecting Daily Veil by City Beauty as the last step in my skincare. I have a real sensitivity to sunscreen on my face. I really struggle with it. And City Beauty was so kind to send this to me to try. And I've worn it for three days and I seem to be doing okay with it. I like the way it feels. It doesn't make my face get hot and sweaty like some sunscreens do. The SPF is 39. It's a broad spectrum sunscreen. It has line blurring polymers, beetroot extract, Erlina Maxima extract, and soybean seed extract. And I, with this and my CC cream on, I am going to have really good sun protection. I used to be a sun worshiper, and this is what happens. You get those brown spots, you get the hyperpigmentation, and I don't want that. I want my skin to look really, really good. And I was looking back at some pictures from about a year ago. I cannot believe the difference in my skin since I have been using the pharmacy skincare routine. My skin, the hyperpigmentation is going away. I am also using a device at night that I have not talked about yet. I am still in the process of testing it out. That I will be sharing a video on that. I am a huge vitamin C serum user on my skin and I think that that has helped in conjunction with the aqua products that pharmacy came out with. They have the hyaluronic acid in them and they are amazing. But I'm telling you, I haven't had one issue with my face stinging like I have fire ants on it I'm using the perfecting bell. So that's my little tip and trick for today on that. So let's get started. I'm going to put primer on my skin. You know, I always have to put that in areas where I need it. And then, because I have redness on my skin, I am using this CC cream that is a color corrector in green to really even out my skin tone. I love this product. And remember, my link is in the bio, and you can definitely shop with me. And so, look how that took the redness out. This stuff is amazing. We have one for brightness as well, and I like to put that underneath my eyes because I feel like we all need brightness there. Look how good that looks. Oh my goodness, I love that. I love it, I love it. So, I'm going to put some eyeshadow primer on. Eyeshadow primer is a must, ladies. It really helps your eyeshadow to stay on. And I just really like it. And I just like the way it evens out my eyelids because it's like an artist painting. They prime their palette before they get started. So I think it's just a win-win all the way around. I am going to use this beautiful Iconic palette today. I love this palette. I love the colors. I love the brightness for summer. And I'll probably mix in 
some little glam up into it as well. So both of these palettes are here for me to start playing with. I love playing with eyeshadow. It's one of my favorite things. I'm gonna use this Morphe M45 brush. It's a nice fluffy brush. So you can, I just zoomed in so you could see my eyes. And as you can tell, when I open my eyes, you cannot see any eyelid. There's the movable eyelid is gone. But I'm gonna show you, and I've shown you before, but you don't always watch all of my videos, so I have to, you know, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna show you again. But I like to open up my eyes. I always talk about opening up my eyes and let you look younger. That's what we all want to do, right? Start with Lip Plumper. It makes my lips feel so much better, and plus, it plumps them up, so it is a definite tip and trick. Love that product. Okay, so for my, this top, this top, while it's very summery, it also has earth tones in it, which I like. I like having both. So I am going to actually go into the Glam Up palette and I'm going to hit up Dusty Rose. I love that color. I use it all the time. And it is a great crease color. And I'm today, I'm even gonna take it up, what's left on my brush up here underneath my brow. Look how pretty that is. Ladies, let me tell you something. Even though I have silver hair, I'm gonna wear whatever makes me happy and we shouldn't have to be dictated by society telling us what we can and can't wear when we have white, silver, gray hair. This color, emerald, is so beautiful. It matches my dress exactly. Let me see if I can. so pretty and again I'm just putting this on the outside edge and I'm really tapping into that crease because I want this green it's kind of like a sea foam green I want it to be bold because by the time I blend it, it will, it will soften it quite a bit. So I really am trying to get it into that crease. I'm bringing it a little bit further over than I normally do. In the Morphe M330 to blend. And you can tell I have some fallout here. Never fear. I don't usually get a lot of fallout. I didn't do it, I didn't get it on this eye, but I forgot to tap off my brush on this eye. So, never fear. Showing you this little tip and trick before. And that is why I do my eyes first. Because I do not want to go in and do double work. I just don't. Going back into the Iconic palette, and I am going to focus on my eyelid. There's a lot of yellow in this top, and so I am actually going to use the color Mermaid on my movable lid. I'm gonna show you the difference. My eyes are starting to open up that bright color on the lid is helping tremendously. That bright color, you can actually see that I do have a movable eyelid. I don't know who coined that phrase, movable eyelid, but I think it's pretty darn good. And so I'm gonna do it on this eye as well.
that's super pretty that's really really pretty i like that and it's such a fun summery look and that's what i'm going for you're going to an outside cocktail party it's around somebody's pool and you want to look cute you want to be put together i love to be put together this dress is absolutely perfect it is knit it it's so so comfortable you do not have to wear a bra with it if you don't want because this has a flowy um let's see if you can see so see this covers the girls and um and it's just super soft super flowy i pretty sure that this is I'm um, for reference this is a large I always do the eyes first I'm going to stop I'm not going to add anything else to the eyes so that I can focus on my face and see if I need to add more take more away um, and then I'll do my eyeliner my mascara and my brows and we'll just get just get this party going let me explain to you why I love CC cream so much. I get questions all the time on my TikTok about what foundation would you recommend? Well, CC cream is a foundation, but what I love so much about this CC cream is it gives coverage, but it's sheer, but it really color corrects and it's beautiful on the skin. And that's what I love so much about the CC cream. And I always take it down on my neck, always. And yes, and I am coming back to do my forehead. And what this tube of CC cream I'm using medium to dark for reference. I moved up to medium to dark, oh gosh, about three weeks ago, just because it's summer and no matter what, my skin is the type of skin that I, you know, attracts to the sun and the medium was just too light on me. And so this really gives a great, great color coverage. I like it a lot but what I was saying about this this is 1.7 fluid ounces which is a big tube of CC cream it's sixteen dollars and ninety cents I mean seriously I love the way it feels also you all know that I love anything color correcting or anything that can make us look younger well because I am so so blind and I say this all the time I am blind I made the perfect mistake I grabbed this color concealer it is in soft orange and I put it on by sheer mistake I thought I was grabbing light ivory and I wasn't and girls Color corrects and it conceals at the same time. It is a dual purpose concealer for me. And I just let that sit on my skin for about 30 seconds. And then I start working it in with a flat foundation brush. We do sell these brushes individually. They are really good. This isn't the pharmacy one because it's in my dirty brush pile. Um, but I do really like that brush as well. It's it's identical. It's got the same type of it's got the same type of angle. So I find that that really gets in there well. Then what I do is I take my wet beauty blender, and that feels so amazing because it's nice and cool. So it gives it just. It's like it's hydrating at the same time that it's evening out. And I really like that. And of course, I always go up. And someone told me I was being too rough with my eyes. So I 
I never feel like I am, so I'm just trying to be a little bit more gentle because we don't need any of that tugging. Oh, that looks so pretty. I mean, it's just, wow, what a great mistake I made. I love it. So let's have some fun. Let's bronze up our skin without going overboard. Pharmacy just released two new bronzers. This one is the light color. This one is perfect for me. And why I like it, it's because it gives me that summer glow without getting into the sun. And it's not overly dark. You've seen women that put bronzer on and you're like, whoa. And uh, does something about Mary, that movie, make you giggle when you see somebody that has on way, that has had way too much sun or way too much bronzer? Yes. You want to use a bronzer where the sun hits your face. Definitely hit your forehead, your nose, your cheeks, and your chin. I am also going to take it down on my neck and my chest. I am so... Look how pretty this is. It's such a soft bronzer but it's putting color on my face. Here we go, onto the chin. I'm gonna put some here on the nose. Looking into my mirror to make sure that that looks great, even. Here we go. Take it down onto your neck because remember your neck is an extension. And then I'm just gonna rub it just lightly, just lightly up here on my shoulders and just to make it look like one palette. And I think, look at that summer glow. That is so pretty. These are so soft, they go on well. They're not drying. So I think it's a great addition to our summer beauty routine. And I like just having some color. Add a little blush, just a tiny bit. Nothing crazy. Up here on those cheekbones lifting up that's so pretty I feel like I feel like I went to a tanning salon and I've come out with just that perfect shade of summer glow it's really pretty okay let's talk about this this is a new product as well it is the bronzing shimmer dry oil it comes in one color I don't understand dry oil I wish I did but it, I know one thing, it doesn't, oops, I didn't get any on there. What I really like about this is it doesn't feel oily. And what I'm doing is I am lightly highlighting right there on top of that cheekbone. That's all you have to do. This gives just a little shimmer. I'm gonna take it right there on, Take it right there on the tip of my nose. And then how beautiful is this going to be on my chest? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just apply it with a brush. Oh, I wish I could see better, I can't see. Okay, it gives just a beautiful shimmer. I'm gonna pull that down. So, if you're out at night, you just have a really pretty glow about you. It doesn't transfer onto your skin. I love this summer glow. Oh, how beautiful. And these two products are brand new and I'm so happy they came out with them. Okay, I want to tight line my eyelids and I'm using green and the extra last liner. It works really well. It's not waterproof, but it's darn near waterproof. And then I'm going to just put a tiny bit right there. So here is a good tip and trick to do with that under eye. Just flick 
that outer edge. It makes your eyes look lifted. That's what this is all about. Guys, I look like I have spent some day a day out in the sun. I am thrilled that I have done this without going to the beach. Brows are so important. It makes all the difference in the world. It lifts up your eyes. It's it's amazing. I am back and I am finished. I think this summer glow up look is so beautiful and I would wear this every single day. I love my eyes. I love my cheeks, the lips, the lipstick, the effects elite collection. I love this color because it goes so well with what I have on. But I want to thank you so much for staying with me and watching this video for your summer glow up for the mature woman. And I just ask again that if you like this video, give me a like, comment, share with your friends, and let's grow this community together. I really appreciate you being here, and I hope you have a fabulous summer, and let's glow up together. And remember, the link is in my bio, so if you want to grab these products for your summer glow up, I would love it if you would support me. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you the next time. I will sign off the way I always sign off. Stay well and be blessed, and I'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.